Hello guys, in this video, we'll show you how to fix system service exception in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button from there. And comment down below on our videos about your problem and we'll make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Check for any hardware issues. Issues like Disconnect any recently added hardware or check that all hardware components are properly seated and connected. And ensure that your hardware is compatible with your system by checking your manufacturer specification. Number 2. Perform a virus and malware scan. For this, type Windows Security in the Windows search bar and click on it. After that, in the Windows Security window, click on Virus and Threat Protection. And under Current Threats, Click on quick scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can also choose full scan. After that, just simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete the scan. If the threats are detected, Windows Defender will provide options to remove or quarantine them. And number 3. Update your drivers. For this, press Window plus X key and select Device Manager from there. After that, expand the categories and right-click on the device to select Update Driver. After that, just simply choose search automatically for updated driver software. Number 4. Run System File Checker For this, search for command prompt, right click the top result and select the Run as Administrator option. After that, type the following commands to perform a quick scan on your PC. The command is SFC slash scan now. After that, be patient and wait till the scanning is complete. Number 5. Check your hard drive for this, open Start and again open Command Prompt in the Administrator option. After that, type chkdsk slash f c and press Enter. Make sure to replace C with the letter of the drive you want to check if it's not your system drive. After that, press Y even prompted to schedule the disk check on the next restart. After that, just simply restart your PC. Number 6. Run Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool for this, press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box and type mdsched.exe and press Enter. Select Restart now and check for any problems. The Window Memory Diagnostic Tool will perform a series of tests to check your RAM for errors. This may take some time. Once the test is complete, your computer will automatically restart and the results will be displayed on the screen. Number 7. Run Startup Repair for this, if your computer isn't preparing automatic repair loop, forcefully shut it down by holding the power button, then turn it back on. As Windows 10 or 11 starts to load, interrupt the boot sequence by pressing the power button again while the Windows logo is displayed. Do this three times in a row to trigger the Windows recovery environment. After that, in the Advanced Startup option, select Troubleshoot. And under Troubleshoot, click Advanced Options. Number 8. Perform a clean boot. For this, press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type MSCONFIG and press Enter to open the System Configuration. In the System Configuration window, go to the Services tab. After that, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services and click the Disable All button. Next, go to the Startup tab and click on Open Task Manager. After that, in the Task Manager window, Disable all the startup programs by right-clicking on each entry and selecting Disable. After that, close the Task Manager and go back to the System Configuration window. Then, just simply click OK and restart the computer. Number 7. Check for Windows Updates. For this, press the Window plus I key to open the Windows Settings. Then, click on Update and Security. In the Update and Security window, click on Windows Update in the left-hand side menu. Then, click on check for updates and let Windows search for any available updates and will automatically install them. After the updates are installed, reach out to the computer and check if the function is working correctly or not. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.